Question 1. Who is the current monarch of the United Kingdom? A. Saint, Queen Elizabeth II. B. King George VII. C. King Charles III. D. Queen Victoria II. Answer. C. King Charles III. Question 2. In what year did King Charles III ascend to the throne? A. 2022 B. 2020 C. 2018 D. 2015 Answer. A. 2022 King Charles III ascended to the throne in the year 2022. Question 3. Who is the current Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? A. Boris Johnson B. Theresa May C. Rishi Sunak D. David Cameron Answer. C. Rishi Sunak The current Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is Rishi Sunak, who took office in 2022. Question 4. What is the name of the UK's longest reigning monarch before King Charles III? A. King Henry VIII B. Queen Victoria C. Saint Queen Elizabeth II D. King George VI Answer C. Saint Queen Elizabeth II Before King Charles III Saint Queen Elizabeth II was the UK's longest reigning monarch. Question 5. What are the two houses of the Parliament of the United Kingdom? A. The Senate and the House of Representatives. B. The House of Commons and the House of Lords. C. The Legislative Assembly and the National Council. D. The Upper House and the Lower House. Answer. B. The House of Commons and the House of Lords. The two houses of the UK Parliament are the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Question 6. What is the Magna Carta and why is it significant? A. A declaration of independence from France. B. A royal charter of rights agreed to by King John of England. C. The first written constitution in European history. D. A peace treaty between England and Scotland. Answer. B. A Royal Charter of Rights agreed to by King John of England. The Magna Carta is significant as it was a Royal Charter of Rights that limited the power of the monarch and laid the foundation for modern democracy. Question 7. When was the Battle of Hastings and why is it important? A. 1066, marking the Norman conquest of England. B. 1215, leading to the signing of the Magna Carta. C. 1348, beginning the Black Death pandemic. D. 1588, defeating the Spanish Armada. Answer. A. 1066, marking the Norman conquest of England. The Battle of Hastings occurred in 1066 and is important as it marked the Norman conquest of England. Question 8. Who was the first Tudor monarch? A. Elizabeth I. B. Henry V. I. C. Henry V. I. I. D. James I. Answer. B. Henry V. I. The first Tudor monarch was Henry V. I. I. Question 9. Describe the significance of the English Reformation. A. It marked the end of Roman Catholic dominance in England. B. It was the period of industrial development in England. C. It led to the War of the Roses. D. It was a movement for political independence from France. Answer. A. It marked the end of Roman Catholic dominance in England. The English Reformation is significant as it marked the end of Roman Catholic dominance and the establishment of the Church of England. Question 10. What was the outcome of the English Civil War? A. The restoration of the monarchy. B. 
the establishment of a republic under Oliver Cromwell, c. the beginning of the Tudor dynasty, d. the unification of England and Scotland. Answer. b. the establishment of a republic under Oliver Cromwell. The outcome of the English Civil War was the establishment of a republic under Oliver Cromwell. Question 11. Who was the UK Prime Minister during the majority of World War II? A. Neville Chamberlain B. Winston Churchill C. Clement Attlee D. Margaret Thatcher Answer B. Winston Churchill Winston Churchill was the UK Prime Minister during the majority of World War II. Question 12. What event is Guy Fawkes Knight associated with? A. The end of the English Civil War. B. The signing of the Magna Carta. C. The gunpowder plot of 1605. D. The Battle of Britain. Answer. C. The gunpowder plot of 1605. Guy Fawkes Knight is associated with the gunpowder plot of 1605. Question 13. When and why did the Glorious Revolution take place? A. 1688, leading to the overthrow of King James II. B. 1534, initiating the English Reformation. C. 1215, resulting in the signing of the Magna Carta. D. 1066, following the Battle of Hastings. Answer. A. 1688, leading to the overthrow of King James II. The Glorious Revolution took place in 1688, resulting in the overthrow of King James E. and the establishment of constitutional monarchy. Question 14. What was the Industrial Revolution, and why was it important? A. A political movement for democracy in the 18th century. B. A period of technological, socio-economic, and cultural change in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. C. A series of military conflicts in the 19th century. D. An artistic movement in the early 20th century. Answer. B. A period of technological, socio-economic, and cultural change in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The Industrial Revolution was important as it marked a major turning point in history, with significant changes in manufacturing, transport and technology. Question 15. When did women get the right to vote in the UK? A. 1918 B. 1928 C. 1945 D. 1969. Answer. B. 1928. Women in the UK gained the right to vote on equal terms with men in 1928. Question 16. What is the Commonwealth? A. A European Economic and Political Union. B. A British-led military alliance. C. An association of independent states most of which were formerly part of the British Empire. D. A group of countries with a shared monarchy. Answer. C. An association of independent states, most of which were formerly part of the British Empire. The Commonwealth is an association of independent states, many with historical ties to the British Empire. Question 17. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? A. Saint Queen Elizabeth II. B. Margaret Thatcher. C. Theresa May. D. Angela Merkel. Answer. B. Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Question 18. What is the significance of the Good Friday Agreement? A. It marked the UK's entry into the European Union. B. It was a peace agreement that helped to end the conflict in Northern Ireland. C. 
it was a trade agreement between the UK and the United States. D. It established the Bank of England. Answer. B. It was a peace agreement that helped to end the conflict in Northern Ireland. The Good Friday Agreement is significant for contributing to peace in Northern Ireland. Question 19. What are the devolved administrations within the UK? A. The Cabinet, Parliament and Judiciary. B. England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. C. The European Union, NATO and the United Nations. D. The House of Commons, House of Lords and the Monarchy. Answer. B. England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The devolved administrations within the UK refer to the governments of Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, which have varying degrees of legislative power. Question 20. What does the term suffrage mean? A. Economic reform. B. The right to vote in political elections. C. A type of parliamentary procedure. D. The process of becoming a citizen. Answer. B. The right to vote in political elections. Suffrage refers to the right to vote in political elections. Question 21. What was the main goal of the Chartists? A. To abolish the monarchy. B. To gain suffrage for all men. C. To establish a national bank. D. To reform the educational system. Answer. B. To gain suffrage for all men. The main goal of the Chartists was to gain suffrage for all men. Question 22. When was the National Health Service, NHS, established? A. 1920. B. 1948. C. 1965. D. 1980. Answer. B. 1948. The National Health Service, NHS, was established in 1948. Question 23. What was the main cause of the First World War? A. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. B. The economic rivalry between the UK and Germany. C. The invasion of Poland. D. Disputes over colonial territories. Answer. A. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was a primary trigger of the First World War. Question 24. What is the significance of the Battle of Britain? A. It marked the beginning of the British Empire. B. It was a crucial victory for the UK in the air campaign against Germany during World War II. C. It led to the signing of the Magna Carta. D. It was the last battle of the First World War. Answer. B. It was a crucial victory for the UK in the air campaign against Germany during World War II. The Battle of Britain was significant for its crucial role in preventing a German invasion. Question 25. When did the UK join the European Union and when did it vote to leave? A. Joined in 1957, voted to leave in 2016. B. Joined in 1973, voted to leave in 2016. C. Joined in 1973, voted to leave in 2012. D. Joined in 1967, voted to leave in 2000. Answer. B. Joined in 1973, voted to leave in 2016. The UK joined the European Union in 1973 and voted to leave in 2016. Question 26. What is the role of the House of Commons? A. To interpret laws. B. To enforce laws. C. To make and pass legislation. D. To act as the judicial branch. Answer. C. 
to make and pass legislation. The primary role of the House of Commons is to make and pass legislation. Question 27. What is the role of the House of Lords? A. To elect the Prime Minister. B. To review and amend proposed legislation. C. To represent the UK in international relations. D. To manage the country's finances. Answer. B. To review and amend proposed legislation. The House of Lords reviews and amends legislation proposed by the House of Commons. Question 28. How are members of Parliament, MPs, elected? A. By a lottery system. B. By the monarch. C. Through public elections in constituencies. D. By the House of Lords. Answer. C. Through public elections in constituencies, MPs are elected through public elections held in various constituencies across the UK. Question 29. What is the function of the UK Supreme Court? A. To draft legislation. B. To serve as the final court of appeal in the UK. C. To elect the Prime Minister. D. To manage the country's defence. Answer. B. To serve as the final court of appeal in the UK. The UK Supreme Court functions as the final court of appeal for civil and criminal cases. Question 30. Describe the British Constitution. A. A single written document. B. A collection of different statutes, conventions and legal precedents. C. Based solely on the Magna Carta. D. It does not exist. Answer. B. A collection of different statutes, conventions and legal precedents. The British Constitution is not a single document, but a collection of statutes, conventions and legal precedents. Question 31. What is the role of the monarch in the UK? A. Direct governance of the country. B. Ceremonial duties without governing powers. C. Heading the UK's judicial system. D. Leading the UK's military forces. Answer. B. Ceremonial duties without governing powers. The role of the monarch in the UK is largely ceremonial, without direct governing powers. Question 32. What is common law? A. Law based on religious teachings. B. Law derived from judicial decisions and precedents. C. Law made by the monarch. T. Law that is common to all people regardless of citizenship. Answer. B. Law derived from judicial decisions and precedents. Common law in the UK is based on legal precedents and judicial decisions. Question 33. Who was William Shakespeare? A. A former Prime Minister of the UK. B. A renowned English playwright and poet. C. A British explorer. D. A famous British scientist. Answer. B. A renowned English playwright and poet. William Shakespeare was a famous English playwright and poet, known for his plays and sonnets. Question 34. What is the significance of the River Thames? A. It is the longest river in the world. B. It is the main source of drinking water for London. C. It flows through London and has historical significance for the city. D. It was the site of the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. It flows through London and has historical significance for the city. The River Thames is significant for flowing through London and its importance in British history. Question 35. What is the UK known for in terms of global contribution? A. Only for its historical contributions. B. Primarily for its entertainment industry. C. For contributions in various fields including science, literature and political thought. D. 
for its cuisine and culinary traditions? Answer. C. For contributions in various fields, including science, literature, and political thought. The UK is known globally for its contributions in diverse fields such as science, literature, and political thought. Question 36. Name some traditional British dishes. A. Sushi, pizza, and tacos. B. Fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and full English breakfast. C. Spaghetti, hamburgers, and hot dogs. D. Curry, sushi, and burritos. Answer. B. Fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and full English breakfast. Traditional British dishes include fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and full English breakfast. Question 37. What are some key landmarks in the UK? A. The Eiffel Tower, Colosseum, and Acropolis. B. Big Ben, Stonehenge, and Buckingham Palace. C. The Statue of Liberty, Great Wall of China, and Taj Mahal. D. Mount Everest, Niagara Falls, and Grand Canyon. Answer. B. Big Ben, Stonehenge, and Buckingham Palace. Key landmarks in the UK include Big Ben, Stonehenge, and Buckingham Palace. Question 38. Describe the UK's education system. A. Only private schooling is available. B. Mandatory education from ages 5 to 18, with options for further and higher education. C. No formal education system. D. Education is optional and not widely accessible. Answer. B. Mandatory education from ages 5 to 18, with options for further and higher education. The UK's education system requires mandatory education for children from ages 5 to 18, with further and higher education options available. Question 39. What is the legal voting age in the UK? A. 16 years. B. 18 years. C. 21 years. D. 25 years. Answer. B. 18 years. The legal voting age in the UK is 18 years. Question 40. What are the responsibilities of the Prime Minister? A. To serve as the head of state. B. To lead the government and make key policy decisions. C. To act as the monarch's advisor. D. To preside over the House of Lords. Answer. B. To lead the government and make key policy decisions. The Prime Minister's responsibilities include leading the government and making key policy decisions. Question 41. What is the role of the Speaker in the House of Commons? A. To represent the ruling party. B. To preside over debates and maintain order. C. To vote on legislation. D. To appoint members to committees. Answer. B. To preside over debates and maintain order. The Speaker in the House of Commons presides over debates maintaining order and neutrality. Question 42. What are the main political parties in the UK? A. Conservative, Labour, Liberal Democrats and Green Party. B. Republican, Democrat, Independent and Green Party. C. Socialist, Communist, Nationalist and Federalist. D. Progressive, Centrist, Right-Wing and Left-Wing. Answer. A. Conservative, Labour, Liberal Democrats and Green Party. The main political parties in the UK include the Conservative Party, Labour Party, Liberal Democrats and Green Party. Question 43. What was the impact of the Black Death on England? A. It led to significant population loss and social changes. B. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. C. It caused the English Civil War. 
D. It resulted in the Magna Carta. Answer. A. It led to significant population loss and social changes. The Black Death had a profound impact on England, causing significant population loss and subsequent social changes. Question 44. Who was Isaac Newton and what was his contribution? A. A famous British novelist. B. An influential scientist known for his laws of motion and gravity. C. A renowned British monarch. D. A key figure in the English Civil War. Answer. B. An influential scientist known for his laws of motion and gravity. Isaac Newton was a pivotal figure in science, known for formulating the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Question 45. Describe the UK's involvement in the slave trade. A. The UK had no involvement in the slave trade. B. The UK was a major participant until it abolished the slave trade in 1807. C. The UK only traded slaves within its territories. D. The UK was a minor player in the slave trade. Answer. B. The UK was a major participant until it abolished the slave trade in 1807. The UK played a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade until its abolition in 1807. Question 46. What is the significance of St. George's Day? A. It marks the end of World War II. B. It celebrates the patron saint of Scotland. C. It commemorates the signing of the Magna Carta. D. It honours St. George, the patron saint of England. Answer. D. It honours St. George, the patron saint of England. St. George's Day is significant as it celebrates St. George, the patron saint of England. Question 47. When is Remembrance Day and why is it commemorated? A. 11 November, to remember those who died in wars. B. 25 December, to celebrate the end of World War I. C. 1 January, to honour new beginnings and peace. D. 5 November, to remember the gunpowder plot. Answer. A. 11 November, to remember those who died in wars. Remembrance Day is observed on 11 November to honour those who have died in wars and conflicts. Question 48. What was the British Empire and what is its legacy? A. A short-lived kingdom in medieval England. B. The world's largest empire, leaving a complex legacy of cultural and political influence. C. An alliance of European nations led by the UK. D a 20th century economic union. Answer. B. The world's largest empire, leaving a complex legacy of cultural and political influence. The British Empire was the largest in history and left a complex legacy worldwide in terms of culture, language and politics. Question 49. What is the significance of Hadrian's Wall? A. It was a defence line against Viking invasions. B. A Roman fortification marking the northern limit of Britannia. C. The wall that separated England and Scotland in the Middle Ages. D. A monument built to commemorate the Great Fire of London. Answer. B. A Roman fortification marking the northern limit of Britannia. Hadrian's Wall was significant as a defensive fortification built by the Romans in northern England. Question 50. What are the main sources of law in the UK? A. The UK Constitution and Presidential Decrees. B. The Magna Carta and European Union laws. C. Statute law, common law, and European Union legislation. D. Religious texts and monarchs edicts. Answer. C. Statute law, common law, and European Union legislation. 
The main sources of law in the UK include statute law, common law, and aspects of European Union legislation. Question 51. What is the significance of the Elizabethan era? A. A period of economic depression. B. The golden age of English literature and expiration. C. The era of the English Civil War. D. The time of Roman rule in Britain. Answer. B. The Golden Age of English Literature and Expiration The Elizabethan era is known as a Golden Age for English Literature and Expiration, coinciding with the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. Question 52. Who are the Crown Dependencies? A. Former Colonies of the British Empire B. The Monarch's Personal Properties C. Self-Governing Territories under the Sovereignty of the British Crown D. Members of the European Union under British influence. Answer. C. Self-governing territories under the sovereignty of the British Crown. The Crown dependencies, which include Jersey, Guernsey and the Isle of Man, are self-governing but under the sovereignty of the British Crown. Question 53. What are the main religions practiced in the UK? A. Christianity. Islam, Hinduism, and Sikhism. B. Buddhism, Shintoism, Taoism, and Confucianism. C. Judaism, Zoroastrianism, Paganism, and Baha'i. D. Atheism, Agnosticism, Humanism, and Deism. Answer. A. Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Sikhism. The main religions practiced in the UK include Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Sikhism. Question 54. What is the significance of the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation? A. A private entertainment company. B. The world's first national broadcasting organization, a key public service broadcaster. C. A government agency for international espionage. D. The official television channel of the UK monarchy. Answer. Lee. The world's first national broadcasting organisation, a key public service broadcaster. The BBC is significant as a leading public service broadcaster, known for its radio, television and online services. Question 55. Name a famous British scientist and their discovery. A. Albert Einstein. Theory of Relativity B. Isaac Newton Laws of Motion and Universal Gravitation C. Mary Curie Radioactivity D. Thomas Edison Electric Light Bulb Answer B. Isaac Newton Laws of Motion and Universal Gravitation Isaac Newton, a famous British scientist, is known for his discovery of the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Question 56. What is the role of the Secretary of State in the UK government? A. To preside over the House of Lords. B. To lead a specific government department. C. To serve as the chief legal advisor to the government. D. To be in charge of foreign affairs exclusively. Answer. B. To lead a specific government department. The Secretary of State in the UK government is responsible for leading a specific department, such as health, education or defence. Question 57. What is the purpose of the Cabinet in the UK government? A. To serve as the legislative body. B. To make and implement key government decisions. C. To oversee the judicial system. D. To act as advisors to the monarchy. Answer. B. To make and implement key government decisions. The cabinet in the UK government is responsible for making and implementing key government decisions. Question 58. How does the UK contribute to international relations? A. By maintaining a policy of isolationism. B. 
as a permanent member of the UN Security Council and a member of various international organizations. C. Through colonial expansion. D. By focusing solely on European affairs. Answer. B. As a permanent member of the UN Security Council and a member of various international organizations, the UK contributes to international relations as a permanent member of the UN Security Council and through its involvement in various international organizations. Question 59. What are the main environmental policies in the UK? A. No active environmental policies. B. Focus on increasing industrial emissions. C. Emphasis on renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions. D. Sole reliance on nuclear energy for environmental protection. Answer. C. Emphasis on renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions. The main environmental policies in the UK focus on promoting renewable energy sources and reducing carbon emissions. Question 60. What is the role of the Bank of England? A. It only prints and distributes currency. B. The Central Bank of the UK, responsible for monetary policy. C. A private bank for the royal family. D. It serves as a regular commercial bank for citizens. Answer. B. The Central Bank of the UK, responsible for monetary policy. The Bank of England is the central bank of the UK and is responsible for implementing the country's monetary policy, including setting interest rates. Question 61. What are some key points in the history of the Welsh language? A. It was replaced by English in the 19th century. B. It has experienced a revival and is now a compulsory subject in Welsh schools. C. It was created in the 20th century. D. It has always been the dominant language in the UK. Answer. B. It has experienced a revival and is now a compulsory subject in Welsh schools. The Welsh language has seen a significant revival and it is now a compulsory subject in schools in Wales. Question 62. What are the main industries in the UK? A. Agriculture and fishing. B. Manufacturing and mining. C. Technology, finance and service industries. D. Tourism and entertainment only. Answer. C. Technology, finance and service industries. The main industries in the UK include technology, finance and various service industries. Question 63. What is the significance of the British Museum? A. It's a modern art museum. B. It's a major museum in London with a vast collection of world art and artefacts. C. It's the official residence of the Prime Minister. D. It's primarily a science museum. Answer. B. It's a major museum in London with a vast collection of world art and artefacts. The British Museum is known for its extensive collection, representing the cultural history of the world. Question 64. Who are some notable British athletes? A. Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods and Serena Williams. B. Mo Farah, Jessica Ennis-Hill and Andy Murray. C. Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar. D. Tom Brady, LeBron James, and Usain Bolt. Answer. B. Mo Farah, Jessica Ennis-Hill, and Andy Murray. Notable British athletes include Mo Farah, long-distance running, Jessica Ennis-Hill, heptathlon, and Andy Murray, tennis. Question 65. What are some key aspects of British etiquette and culture? A informality, punctuality, and privacy. B. Formal greetings, queuing, and apologizing. C. Tardness, loud conversations, and directness. D. 
avoidance of public displays of emotion, interrupting and discussing personal matters. Answer. B. Formal greetings, queuing and apologizing. Key aspects of British etiquette and culture include formal greetings, queuing, lining up, and a tendency to apologize often. Question 66. How does the UK Parliament uphold human rights? A. Through the Human Rights Act, which incorporates the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law. B. By following the directives of the United Nations exclusively. C. Human rights are not recognized in the UK. D. Through the decisions made by the monarchy. Answer. A. Through the Human Rights Act, which incorporates the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law, the UK Parliament upholds human rights through the Human Rights Act, which incorporates the European Convention on Human Rights into domestic law. Question 67. What was the role of the UK in the formation of the United Nations? A. The UK was opposed to its formation. B. The UK was a founding member. C. The UK joined after its establishment. D. The UK played a minor role. Answer. B. The UK was a founding member. The UK played a significant role as a founding member in the formation of the United Nations. Question 68. Describe the impact of immigration on modern British society. A. It has led to a decrease in cultural diversity. B. It has contributed significantly to cultural diversity and the economy. C. It has isolated the UK from international communities. D. It has resulted in the UK leaving the European Union. Answer. B. It has contributed significantly to cultural diversity and the economy. Immigration has shaped modern British society by contributing to cultural diversity and the economy. Question 69. What is the significance of the English Channel? A. It is the longest river in England. B. It is a major shipping route between the UK and mainland Europe. C. It is a natural barrier between the UK and mainland Europe. D. It was the location of the signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. C. It is a natural barrier between the UK and mainland Europe. The English Channel is significant as a natural water barrier separating the UK from mainland Europe. Question 70. Name some famous British authors and poets. A. Ernest Hemingway, Mark Twain and Emily Dickinson. B. J. K. Rowling, Charles Dickens, and William Shakespeare. C. Leo Tolstoy, Fyodor Dostoevsky, and Anton Chekhov. D. Stephen King, J. D. Salinger and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Answer. B. J. K. Rowling, Charles Dickens, and William Shakespeare. Famous British authors and poets include J. H. Rowling, Charles Dickens, and William Shakespeare. Question 71. What was the outcome of the 1982 Falklands War? A. The Falkland Islands became independent. B. Argentina gained control of the Falkland Islands. C. The Falkland Islands remained a British overseas territory. D. The Falkland Islands were ceded to the United Nations. Answer. C. The Falkland Islands remained a British overseas territory. The outcome of the 1982 Falklands War was that the Falkland Islands remained under British sovereignty. Question 72. What are the key festivals and holidays celebrated in the UK? A. Independence Day, Thanksgiving and Halloween. B. Christmas, Easter, Diwali and Eid. C. 
Pastille Day, Cinco de Mayo, and Hestid. Patrick's Day. D. Annika, Yom Kippur, Vesak, and Lunar New Year. Answer. B. Christmas, Easter, Diwali, and Eid. Key festivals and holidays celebrated in the UK include Christmas, Easter, Diwali, and Eid. Question 73. What is the significance of the Suez Crisis of 1956? A. It marked the UK's entry into the European Union. B. It was a political and military confrontation in Egypt, signalling the decline of British imperial power. C. It resulted in the UK gaining control of the Suez Canal. D. It was a trade dispute between the UK and France. Answer. B. It was a political and military confrontation in Egypt, signalling the decline of British imperial power. The Suez Crisis of 1956 is significant as it marked a turning point in the history of British imperial power. Question 74. When did Scotland vote in a referendum on independence from the UK, and what was the outcome? A. 2014 and Scotland chose to remain part of the UK. B. 2010 and Scotland became independent. C. 2000 and Scotland chose to remain part of the UK. D. 2016 and Scotland became independent. Answer. A. 2014 and Scotland chose to remain part of the UK. In the 2014 referendum, Scotland voted to remain part of the United Kingdom. Question 75. What are the main challenges facing the UK today? A. Modernising its medieval institutions. B. Addressing social inequalities, economic challenges and the impacts of Brexit. C. Rebuilding after the destruction of World War II. D. Expanding the British Empire. Answer. B. Addressing social inequalities, economic challenges, and the impacts of Brexit. The main challenges facing the UK today include addressing social inequalities, economic challenges, and managing the impacts of Brexit.